dude, they're and it, right. We absolutely need them. They're precious, but god damn, are they fickle bastards? Yeah, and I, I mean, I love them. To be honest, I truly do. I need to go west, northwest. Um, I really do love computers. That's the killer. I've loved computers my whole life. I wanted one for so long. I've told you, like, I had friends as a kid that I maintained friendships with strictly because they had a computer and I wanted to go to their house and touch it. And just, like, I've been immensely curious about them and fascinated by them since the moment I could get my hands on them, right? Yeah. I feel we all have that in us. Like, any of us who were like, I'm going to tear it apart and put it back together and figure this shit out. This is magic. We all felt that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's... Mm, <laughs> Frustrating sometimes, loving something that just wants to hurt me <laughs> and cause me all the pain. <laughs> like, why can't we just be friends? <laughs> Seriously, it's fun. Computers are fascinating. They always have been. They're, they, I still think they're kind of magic. The internet is magic to me still. I don't know. Call me old. I'm old, I know. I keep having to look at my map because, no, oh, I need to go that way. We've been stuck in this fucking zone for so long, but it's one of those games where it's like you can't just jump over anything. And I'm so used to just kind of Skyrimming a mountain if I'm frustrated and I can't do that in this game. So I end up walking in circles a lot, but I'm just going to follow the trail until I get. I have to like follow it all the way through and get up there somewhere. That's the only area I haven't been yet. That's sick, Kona. That's how my my dad and I kind of bonded over stuff like that because my dad is very much a... Uh, Grease monkey, like he loves rebuilding classic cars and working on cars, and he was absolutely that dad who insisted we all knew how to change our own oil and do like you know um, general fix it stuff on our own cars before we could have a car. We had to be able to do that kind of stuff, um, and I'm grateful for it. It was annoying at the time, but I'm grateful for it now. But uh, like he gets that want to build and tear stuff apart and like understand how it works on the inside. There's so many factors that can cause any type of problem on a computer. Leading one, leading one would be dust, faulty wires, shit like that. Exactly. I mean, and like it even goes, you know, I complain about it way too much, but like I'm sure everything in the world has something like this, but like the caveat of, you know, you get a whole board of USB plugs, but half the things you need to plug in to USB want their own board. For some, is that something? No. For some fucking reason, and that's always like the, the frustration of my life. I'm sure that happens in other places. What up, Slurmy? How are you, love? No shit. My dad does it so sporadically. Like, I'm not kidding you when I say he's been rebuilding a comet for... How old am I? At least 20 years. He just... Because he, like... He kind of does it the way that I go into sewing and stuff. He knows cars like nobody, like nobody's business. He knows cars like he can crack into any car he wants to. He knows cars really, really well. And uh, he challenges himself. So instead of just rebuilding a Comet, he has to get original Comet pieces. Has to. So he goes on, you know, Craigslist and eBay constantly hunting down like legit. And so, so therefore it takes for fucking ever. But I think that challenge makes it more appeasing. How did he catch a Comet space though, right? I don't know where the fuck he got this car, actually. It, it literally has a footprint pedal. Like, the, pe the gas pedal is like a foot. <laughs> I don't know where he got this thing, man. He's had it forever, though. It's been in our garage for as long as I can remember. And he works on other stuff in between, but that's, like, been his main project for such a long time. I already got that one. That's exactly... I think that's half the fun. He... I mean, the, the Craigslist thing came from his original, like, obsession. What, why can't I go through here? Can I not go through here? Was uh, the li like the getting the little nickel and the penny saver and I think I have to go through my base. Maybe I go through my base. Can I not jump down there? I just really want to follow the trail, but and not walk in circles all day again. Um, he, I remember going out anywhere. If we went to a gas station or if we wanted breakfast or went literally anywhere, he would stop at that like I don't even know if they do this anymore, but there would be a rack of free type of newspapers, and it'd always be like the pickle, the little nickel the penny saver, whatever, all of those, and he'd grab them, and then we'd all have them spread out across the table wherever the fuck we were, and we'd all look at cars with him and car parts and stuff. It's his favorite thing to do in the whole world. It's pretty entertaining to watch. I've never been into cars, but it's kind of that, that thing of, you know, being excited when someone else is excited about something, you get into it. I think that's part of it. Stock comment, yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish I knew the year. I want to say it's 60s. It's like yellow. I don't know. I don't know the year. He's had it so fucking long. It's almost a permanent establishment in our garage. He's moved it three times to three different huge garages. He builds his own shop everywhere he moves, and it's always bigger and always more impressive. It's fucking... I mean, he does a good job. He... The shop he currently has, I mean, it's barter, it is bigger than their house. It's two levels, and then he also rigged it so the walls are just covered in, like, hang, stuff hanging, but perfectly. Like, it reminds me of, um, oh, uh, oh, my God, what's her name? Julia Child's, Julia Child's kitchen, like, if you've ever seen it in the Smithsonian or otherwise... It was like that pegboard and every pan had a very specific spot where it was outlined. That's my the walls of this like two-story enormous fucking shop. It is huge. He built a, uh, I don't know the words for it. This is why I started on it. But he, basically inside the shop is another room, like a, like a structure where you can go in and paint. It's like a ventilation room where he can uh, airbrush and spray paint cars and shit like that. What would you, like a, oh God, what would you call that? But yeah, he goes, he like, in, he's ve I, very much, I think I get a lot of my traits that way where it's like, if he wants to do something, he just makes it possible to do. He doesn't look at it like, well, I can't really do that because I don't have the whatever. He just made himself like a ventilation, whatever. I think I need to go through this wall, but I don't know. I don't want to run in circles all day, but I want to go that way. Let me go that way. Can I go that way? Please let me go that way. Pretty please. Let me go that way. Dude, that was double. Dad was a foot dude. My dad's yellow 66. Corvette was a garage queen for like 12 years. Eventually got it running. And again. Yep. I don't even know if this thing runs. I don't know if he's even gotten the engine together. It's mostly he's been putting the... I think it was totaled or something. So he had to get a lot of panels. I don't even think it had a back end. Oh, I'm going to shoot that. A back end for a long time. Like it didn't have the fucking boot of the car. <laughs> but it's a cool car. And honestly, I think he was working on it for ages with one of my brothers. I, th I think my oldest brother, Nick, which must have been five million years ago. And because Nick's not at home, he doesn't have anyone. I mean, unfortunately, us girls, we weren't really into the garage thing. So he didn't have anyone to work on it with. So he stopped, which is a bummer. Can I go in that door? I don't think I've been here. Have we been here? Oh, my God. Did we manage not to run in circles? We have. This is the place I don't have a fucking key for yet. Fuck. Fuck stick balls. The whispering blue chests. I want you... I need you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. One of my uncles was an engineer at Boeing, and that dude has so many tools in his garage. Yep. That's like my dad's shop. Um, car stuff, house stuff, whatever you need. Yep. Same. Dude, it's amazing. Like, seriously, like, I was telling you guys the other day about my Nana's really cool house when we were younger, and that was, like, this really nice rancher that was multiple levels and had, like, custom wallpaper and stained glass. He has all of those doors, all the doors, all the cupboards. And all the stained glass and stuff on the walls in this shop. Like, it's all hanging up in there. So someday when he, you know, when someone needs to build a house and needs a very specific solid wood double front door or whatever, he'll have it. <laughs> like, I remember when my grandpa passed away and my nana finally moved out of that house. Um, my grandpa had a huge shop as well. And my dad, as well as a few of my cousins, went in there and divvied up the entire shop amongst them. And my dad still is using bolts and nuts and fucking, you know... The little stuff from my grandpa's garage. It's crazy. I think I'll get it when he dies. Like, it's its like family shit that keeps getting passed down because you'll never run out of it because they're all the same personality of, like, it's not hoarding. It's, you know, save it because you will need it, and they do need it, and they, they use it. It's crazy. Can I go in here? This seems like a secret place I shouldn't be. Can I bust it? Nope. Can I bust it? No. Nope. Can I jump it? Nope. Oh, 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 I can roll it. Wait, where do I roll it? Hold on. Oh, we're already there. Just kidding. I've done this. Fuck. How do I get through? I want to tear it on the wall. Oh, have I seen this? Maybe not. Hello, Fleshy. Faith is dead, and now these creatures are roaming around our farm. I barely escaped and found refuge here in the Heights, but I don't know how long I can hold out. No one will come for me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He also bit his own... Oh, his own engine hoist. No shit. Swapped in a bigger engine in the vet and then changed his mind and put the OG one. Dude, that sounds like my dad. The amount of times he's taken things in and out of this fucking car. It's a joke at this point. Like, we kind of, we all joke that this car will never be done. But I kind of think my dad wants to just work on it forever. 
and always have side projects. It'll never be perfect. It's it's such a, you know, a comet's not a car you see a lot, so um, getting parts for it isn't easy, I think. It's not. It's it's difficult getting, like, legitimate parts for it because they're hard to come by. I don't even know how many comets were built. Can I bust it? Can I break it? I feel like I just run in circles in this game because I don't have this damn mini-map, but I know I've got to be able to get up to that upper right... That, that upper fucking left corner, northwest corner of this bubble I'm supposed to be in is the only place I haven't looked at. You must let me get there. Let me do it! Just give me a mini-map. I'm lost without it. Okay. So up this way should be that. There's going to be nothing there, but that's all I can think of. It's the only place I haven't been. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 100% my dad as well. It's never it's never done. Always work to do on it. Yes. Yeah, has every tool he can get his hands on. Uh-huh. Literally. Yep. I think literally this year my dad actually went forth and bought a fucking dump truck or something. Like he needed a dump truck for a project and he looked at what the cost of renting one was and just bought one. So now he has a dump truck. It's crazy. Can I go around that circle maybe? And go up there? Maybe that's it. No. It doesn't look like I can. Fuck a dick. I've explored the fuck. I'm about to harrow your di your ass, motherfucker. Harrow, harrow, whatever. That word. That upper fucking left. I know, I get really passionate about it. Did I go in the house? Maybe not. This seems... I don't know. I've walked in circles too many times. I've been... Oh, maybe not? I can't... I'm so used to games where I can, like, gather everything. Why would I want to be up here? Is it just to show me that? I feel like I'm being fucked with. Am I being fucked with? Can't really do anything with anything, so it's just all kind of superfluous foobar everywhere. There's gotta be something. A key? A key. You have to have a key. Do you have a key? Do you have a key? Oh, that that's shiny. Give it! Give me your shit. Haha! <laughs> Eric, and you're not wrong. Ooh, what are you? Did I get a weapon? I'm a little so The opportunist. So what I go from 33 to 30. Well, it's not upgraded. 33 willpower wisdom. Rifle damage is increased by 100% against wounded enemies. That's hot. Something to do projects that never get done always irk me. I have I have to get it done because that dopamine hit from accomplishing something. I need I need to at least have a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm the same. I definitely have things where it takes me ages to get them done because I do similar stuff like following a Victorian pattern and needing to find like Swiss insertion lace from blah blah blah, blah, blah bullshit. Um, but there that's the light. Whereas for my dad, he could never find a specific part, and he's okay with that. Like cur like kudos to that patience. I couldn't do it. I'd go nuts. Exactly. Revoltcon. And some, I, sometimes I wonder if you're looking for excuses never to finish it. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many things. Look in the trash. I'm sure you'll find the ghost of thermal... Oh, the ghost of thermal paste past. Farmer's Diary, February 20th, uh, 1694, a year ago. Will and I argued... Ar argued... My voice, though. Who am I? Will and I argued the frost is not yet lifted and will be late in planting. This winter has not been easy, and if there's no harvest next winter, it shall be worse. February 28th, 1694. How the time passes, but not the frost. March 18th, 1694. We have not yet planted, and I am now feeling unwell. I shall take to my bed and write again when I am up. I think they didn't get up. But I got your shoesty a bibble. There's a lot of bibbles everywhere, and I don't know the point of them. Like, it's always a point of interest that I can click, but that's it. Like, what now? That's it. If he's looking for original parts rather than just modern pieces, then yeah, it'd take a while. It does. And like I said, he, I mean, he's self-professed it. Like, it's such an, it's like not a car that people, like, people aren't out there like, oh yeah, fucking Comet. So you don't find them. And most of the time when you find them, they're a lot of bad parts or broken down. Or like, he's found ones that literally are rusted through to the point where you'd have to replace. I mean, it's not even worth it. I don't know. He tells me of his trials and tribulations and they seem to suck a lot. Don't walk in circles, Katie. We must explore more harrows, I guess, and not walk in circles and get that way some way. Can I climb that? <gasps> Bitch! Wait, does that go anywhere? We'll see. I don't know. Everything looks the same. 
but it gives him happy. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what he'd do without the comet. <laughs> Sunbun, thank you so much for subbing the class, keeping the class alive, and giving you swings. I fucking appreciate you, honey bean. I think I found it. <coughs> Except he goes nowhere. Ugh, circles. Oh, well, we'll find it eventually. At least the game's super fucking pretty. It'd suck if the game was ugly just walking in circles. Yeah, this is just a circle. Sick, cool. I think over 20 years, because he's had it since I was in high school. So I'm guessing like my 16-ish age. No shit. I think he's had that shit around for quite some time. And I know he's moved it to many different houses at this point. Like three. Um, but if you think about it, like when I was in high school, the whole internet thing wasn't a thing. So he's got a lot more tools to find parts. So I think if I'm not incorrect, I think he's actually made a lot more progress on it than he ever had before. Whereas, you know, before it was like he had to go through the penny savers and he'd have us help him. So he was depending on us to, to, to recognize what the fuck he needed, which was probably not the smartest plan on his point. Um, but then, you know, calling a human being, counting on that person, calling you back, meeting up with that human being somewhere, blah, 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 blah. blah. It was a different world. I remember one time he sold a dirt bike and no shit, him and my mom wanted to go out to dinner. So he just gave me $700 or something. No, 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 no. He, I stayed home alone and I was like 12 and he was like, some guy's going to come by and buy the dirt bike. Make sure he gives you $700 and no shit. A strange young man came to my house, handed me $700 and drove our dirt bike away. That wouldn't happen nowadays. Can I climb that? This looks like a climbable. Oh... Oh, you know what? You're a bitch. Fuck. Mysteries. Oh, why did I do that? Wrong button. Well, I'm healthy now. Can I jump? Nope. Nope, it was just that dude. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't think anything of it either. I had no, like, I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, it's just such a different world, you know? I want to go that way. How do I get up there? How do I get to you? <gasps> Veggie Raid! Welcome, vegetables. I hope you're all feeling crisp today. How are you? Welcome, Raiders. My name's Katie, and we're trying to banish things together and walking in circles, and it's been super fucking fun! How are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. And no parent would. I don't think my parents would. Ever. I mean, looking back on it, I don't think they'd even want to admit that that happened. Like, you know, it was just a different fucking time. No excuses for it. Just a different time. It's weird. I feel very dragged by this title. Oh man, is it cleaning your water bottle, dude? I don't, I don't know if veggie, veggie. I don't know if veggie like outed me, but I'm a medical professional and I oftentimes drop nasty nasties just to fuck with my community. So I'm so sorry. We have shit to upgrade. I'm gonna do that real quick and then walk in more circles. Ooh, get some snacks. Seriously, thank you for the raid. But raiders, if you've been sitting for a while with a veggie and hanging out and having a good time, I highly suggest you all stand up, stretch your legs, get some water, load a bowl, do what you need to do, get some fucking snacky snacks. Cause sitting is bad for your body. <laughs> oh my god, someone came in on Sunday and no shit, I can't remember the exact quote, but it was something along the lines of, I'll have you know my water bottle is delicately seasoned or something like that. Seasoned was used and I'm dead inside. Like, uh, that's all I can think of now is a seasoned, oh... I don't know what to do. Seasoned. Seasoned. Yeah. See, it was just clever as fuck. I mean, we welcome them with open arms, obviously. We, we welcome the gross and the foul, but wow. Just hands off to that one. That one was phenomenal. Fucking seasoned. I know. And people think I'm sick. Like, I attract the most incredible humans. <laughs> Yes, I want my health thingy back. And maybe my lady love will talk to me or just stare at me intensely all night long yet again. This is the creepiest part of the whole game. Because she doesn't sleep. <laughs> Dude, stealth. I just, I consider, I clean my water bottle as often as I clean my bong. I feel like both is getting, you know, touched by my mouth a lot. 
bro. You all following. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. My name's Classy. It's fuck chat. It's You take my brother with you to my fuck chat family today. Welcome to the classiest place on earth. I invite you and your brother to take your pants off, place your hand on the and enjoy your time here on stream. Stream pants on the frame. I invite you to the same British goddamn nudie motherfucker. <gasps> Still fucking got it. <clears throat> Welcome. I used to say that every single time someone hit the follow button, and eventually it just got painful. So I stopped. But I can still do it, and that's incredible. Yes. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. My name is Classy Katie. It's fucktabulous to meet you. You take my breath away with your choice to join my fucked up family today. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. I invite you to take your pants off. I don't stream pants on, therefore I invite you to do the same. Brace your goddamn nudity, mother fluffer. Every hole is a goal, and yours is golden. Um, <clears throat> that's it. Can I go up around that way, maybe? Hold on. Up that? Mayhaps? I don't know. I'm sorry, I keep walking in circles. This is very confusing and hard to figure out. Dude, the circle's pretty good. I've always had a weird hang-up about water bottles that you have to suck. I don't, I think that's just, like, a weird form of, like, hypochondria I've gotten from being, working in hospitals too long. But, um, any kind of water bottle where you have to, like, and it's gonna inevitably suck some of your spit back into it. I just, oh. Y'all remember backwash? <laughs> like, it's just sucking it out, man. I don't know. It's a lot. I think I can. Oh, shit. Can I get up there? Hold on. I just need to look again. Minimap would be great. <laughs> What is moaning at me? Oh, is it that house I can't get into yet? Where is it? What is it? Oh, I did it again. Wrong button. Every time I hear creepy whispering and I just have no idea where it's coming from. It's haunting me. Yeah, I'm the, I use just the open mouth. I, it just makes me feel less gross. Yeah, Viata, right. I had one little sister, and I'm well aware of... I mean, I think Sarah did it. Little sister Sarah, the one that comes into chat once in a while. Yeah, I think she backwashed into my drinks on purpose because she knew it drove me fucking crazy. She was a very good little sister. And by that, I mean she made life hell. She was good at it. You know what I mean? I can't get... Fucking what? Ugh, I need to get up there. How do I get up there? Shoesties? Oh! <gasps> It's you. You're whispering at me. Oh. Fuck you. Okay, it was nothing cool. Just that thing. Damn it. At least I got rid of it. Fucking creepy whispering eye. Yeah. Oh, dude, Murphy. Thank you. Actually, I've been meaning to up. I have a lot more pictures. It's really hard in the wintertime because, like, most insects and reptiles, everything kind of goes dormant. And, um, goes to sleep, so I, I mean, none of them are out. They're all kind of hidden for the cold season, and then once it starts warming up, they all come out at once. So I've been keeping my eye on them, making sure I'm ready for the emergence of the horde with food and whatnot. But yeah, it, I feel like it kind of goes dead for a while, but honestly, they just don't do anything. They hide! I don't know where the fuck to go. This is so irritating. I've, I've haunted your hollows, game. What more do you want from me? I've haunted all your hollows. Literally the only hollow left I, I can't get to. Is it a holler? Is that what's up? Do we need to have a chit chat? Fuck a dick. I don't know what else to look at. I physically cannot fucking get anywhere else. Mm, I don't know. I guess I just run it until I, something clicks. Oh, 100% Viata. Yeah. And if they had their own drink, you carried it. And it became your drink. Like, I don't think a child carried something of their own for... I mean, my mom had extra arms. It was pretty miraculous to see what she could physically actually carry as one human being. Yeah, same. I have um, I have two uh, Grandma Stole Polkras. You probably know them if you know spiders. Brazilian Blacks. They're great, but they're they're slow growing, so they're tiny. And one of them, Greg, he likes to bury himself. No shit. Dig a hole, cover the opening for eight months a year. And it's never quite on time, 
So I basically spend a good portion of the spring just staring at him, waiting for him to come out all skinny and emaciated, like, mother, I'm ready. And I'm like, fuck, eat. But he hot. I, it's so annoying. Like, fucking cr- come out. Come out. I mean, I get it. Like, I'd love to hibernate like that, but it's it makes me feel like I'm a bad spider mom. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm anxious. I'm like, what are you doing? I want to go up there. Give me my mini map. Fuck. I'm out of the circle of search again. I've searched your hollows. What more do you want from me, game? I'm quite lost. I've, I've searched your hollows. I've tickled them. I've touched them. I shoosted everything. What, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? I don't know. Inky and pinky, that's precious. Do you know what kinds they were? Was it a pink toe? Because that'd be pretty on point. I have a pink toe. They're, uh, fun. Tarantulas are cactuses, let's be honest. It's like a cactus fish tank. But no shit, I, it's crazy. I mean, I say this all the time, but every single time I get to show someone a spider, there's at least one person who's like, wait, there's no deadly tarantulas? Zach's brother. He just came to stand, stay with us, and so I showed him a couple of spiders, and I got to feed one for him and stuff. And he straight up was like, you mean you don't have any deadly ones? I'm like, no, there's no such thing as a tarantula that can take you out. He was like, what? I'm like, nah, dude, it's like a bee sting. It's the tiny bugs you gotta worry about, bed bugs and shit. Tarantulas got no interest. They're so defenseless, which is why they tend to be skittish and run. Like me, in circles forever. You have a pink toe? Pink toes are great. I mean, they're seriously, they're just uh, speedy. When the cactus escapes. I've never had an escapee, but I use um, I use a type of tarantula enclosure called, tar- it's literally made by a company called Tarantula Cribs. They're great. They're the best in my opinion. But the enclosures have little magnets lining the lids and the lids like slide in and out of kind of a rivet, not a rivet, a divot. And it's even hard for me to yank them open. Like there's no tarantula in this world that could yank them open even if they wanted to. It's impossible. I don't know how people get escapes. Oh, I, I want a rose hair so bad. It's one of the few I don't have, man. They're hard to come by. Isn't that Grandma... Uh, Grandma stole a rosea? Pink Toe does a ring bell? What? House spiders are friends. I mean, honestly, unless it's a black widow and I'm worried about it biting one of my dogs, I leave things alone. I, I don't like to scare people, but no shit. If you, have spi- if you keep finding spiders in your house, it's because there's something for them to eat, and I'd be worried about that more than the spider. If I were you. Because the spider has no interest in you. Like, what else is in your house? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? Is it bed bugs? Is it ticks? Is it fleas? Do you not bathe? What's going on here? Scabies? Yuckies. Not, well, they were, I mean, so it's, I think it's like Grandma's old pulchra. They are old, they grow big and chonky and they tend to live forever. And so in order to breed one, you have to raise one until it's like 30 years old. <laughs> so you're paying for the rarity, like it takes so long to get them to breed, I think. It's because it's the same with the Grimmest Old Polker. I mean, those are like, I mean, those are one of the most expensive babies you can find. And they're just your basic ass black tarantula, but they're, it takes a long time to get them to breeding age. That's all I can come up with. I don't know. The logic in it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, Spidey just wants the food. I'm all about it. Can you imagine how overrun with mosquitoes we would be if it wasn't for spiders? I'm literally just looking at every cliff ever to see if there's like something I missed to climb or something. I don't know. I, this is what we did for three hours the other day. And I'm serious. It's just, the mission is just explore the harrows i've done it like what more do you want i don't know what it's looking for i don't know what i'm supposed to explore like what else should something happen should i explore like this a, 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 i don't know I'm just gonna keep doing it i don't is there such thing as a basic bitch tarantula anymore really like what's a basic bitch tarantula i probably have basic bitch tarantulas I, t- I tend to be, b- I like basic ass, like boring brown tarantulas sometimes I think are some of the coolest. I have, I mean, arguably my ugliest tarantula is a bird eater. <laughs> like they're so awkward looking. I don't even know how to explain it. You know, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean, they almost look like a crab with hair all over it or something, but she's huge and she eats real well. 
<coughs> me, Dawn, so hard to say. I'd rather share my house with 100 house spiders than have one fly buzzing. Yep. Yes. Give me jumping spiders. Give me little house spiders any fucking day over fruit flies or flies. Fuck off. Those things make me feel dirty. Fuck flies. Yeah, we were just bitching about that the other day, Viata and I, because it's like the moment the weather gets remotely warm, it's like the flies are waiting outside for a window to open and they just fuck your life up. Okay, what we're looking for has to be around here. That's the house I can't open. There's got to be a key or something. I don't know. Let's look with her. Is there something we're missing, bitch? Use your magic. Be you for a bit. What up, Marv? How are you, love? Grandma Sol Rosea. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I cannot remember half of the things I've done in the past 24 hours, but I can pull scientific names of tarantulas out of my asshole, and it baffles my, me all the time. It, it honestly is infuriating. Like, can I not apply this, this memory power to any other spot in my life, please? This is not where I need it. I would like it in the useful areas. <laughs> Horse flies bite. I mean, there's a lot of flies, actually, that bite. Uh, ladybugs bite, for real. Um, but horseflies are the ones that have huge chompers, and I think they draw blood. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think horseflies are like the devil devil. Can I go through here? I'm just hoping there's a secret or something, because I honest to fuck don't know what to do. We're just circles. There's nothing else to explore. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Do I shoot that? Are you evil or are you good? You must be good. Okay. I don't know what to do. Do they drink blood? Fucking disgusting. No, I'm good. Mm-mm. Cheers. It's your main mission to just explore the hollow harrows. <coughs> That's all it's really giving me? Hold on. Uh, is it this? <coughs> That's it. And this is, like, the main mission. Like, what is this? That's it! I know! <coughs> I know! And that's what I'm saying. It's just this area. This gold area. And like I said, it's one of those games where I can't... I, can't, I, don't, have, I don't have a jump button. It's only where those little yellow lines are and shit like that. Which is great. But I don't know where the fuck... To, I feel like I, we've ran in this goddamn same circle over and over and over again. I've... What do you want? It did, but then I clicked it. So that was the click for details. So if you go, where is it? I mean, unless you saw some, I didn't. Hold on. Go here. Like, that's the click for details. No shit. That's the details. Pardon what? Yeah, I know. What's the point? So I just, I guess we just keep going. I don't know. I know. But it's like the gold, the gold marker is supposed to be your main quest. And I was trying to get the main quest going so we could level up a little bit and be more powerful and then do side quests. But like, what the fuck is going on? What do you want? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what up, Carrie Berry? How are you, love? I hope you're doing well. I can't bust through here. I tried. No busting. Nuts. Nothing in here. This is just my little housey house. Is the house in the image? Hold on. Well, I was looking for it, so I'll run to it. That's kind of where we're headed. Right now, I pretty pause. Yeah, it's up here. So um, there's the little building, which needs a key. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. I fucking hate this. Yeah. So the little house, I think, is down that way. And that one has, I'm, ima I'm imagining whatever the fuck we're supposed to find here, but you need a key to get into it. There's no alternative way. So I've gone through this building a million times to try to find a key or something, and I've found fuck all. <coughs> but I imagine that's what we have to do, that little building. There's something inside of it I need. <gasps> Murphy, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Be safe. Drink water. <coughs> I need to get in there, but like, shoot it? Oh my god, I wonder if the new gun makes it so I can sh My old gun couldn't shoot it. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, maybe. I'm not going to get too excited, but I think that might... I don't know. That might not even be the quest item. I don't want to get excited. I've walked in so many circles. 
I've walked in so many circles. I honest to fuck, I don't want to get excited, but maybe we did it. The last pistol couldn't go that far. Maybe it was finding the new gun. I don't know. I don't want to be, I'm not going to get excited, but I'm getting excited. It was that it's, oh my God, C-Town. I, I wonder if I, I did it. Wait, more shit to pick up. Hello. Crispy moss. He's crispy. Christica. Please be the thing I needed. I don't want to walk in this damn circle no more. What? That wasn't it! I hate this. <laughs> There's something to shoot down, though. Take my rage out on that. Fuck. Were they as frustrated as me? Because I feel stupid. Like, literally, I spent an hour the other day just walking in this circle, and I'm still walking in the same circle. The gun was the key. There wasn't a key. It was a trick. It was tricked. I'm going to shoot that barrel down. I don't know, though. I've literally, I've searched this shit so many times. There's nothing in here. None of this is, like, har like har I keep saying harvestable, but you know what I mean? Gatherable. Where's that barrel? I saw something just used. There you are. How are you, Mish? Good afternoon, love. Bitch. We must shoost. No shit, I've done that before. Like, if this game wasn't as fun as it is, I w probably wouldn't give up. Also, if I, I mean, I, I would give up. If I wasn't, pl if I was playing it on my own, I would have given up a long time ago. But because you guys are here to be frustrated and also to think through with me, I feel like I have more of a chance. Shit, how can I shoot that? There we go. It's not going to be the mission, but it's something. Thanks. Linen. Cool. Winning. I've literally, I think we walked in the circle so long that uh, consumables are re repopulating. But I mean, what else does it want? What does it want? What does it want? What do you want from me? We already read that dude's secrets. We've gone through that special tunnel. That just goes some... Yeah, it just goes to the other side. I don't know. I guess I could go through it again. I don't know. No, no, no. It's, I was just wondering if they were frustrated about it because I feel very... It's making me feel really dumb because I've been going through this... I've been going in this circle forever and the only thing in the quest is just explore the harrows and I'm like, I've fucking done it. What else is there to explore? The secret tunnel did fuck all. There's nothing in the house. I'll do it again. But honestly, I'm just confused. It's making me feel stupid. I would have quit a game like this if there wasn't more brains to try to think through it. Also, the fact that you guys are confused too makes me feel not as stupid. We have seriously cleared this area. I mean, I don't know. Oh my god, you're going to drool all up in that bitch. It's going to be precious. Just, you got this. It'll be fine. <laughs> Crispy moss. That's for upgrading, which is interesting. What direction is that? I'd love a mini-map. It's nothing. Fuck, it's so confusing. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, what are our goals? What do you want from me? Yeah, I've been here. At least I'm remembering where I've been now because everything looks the same. That's good. That's the only corner I haven't explored. Maybe I need to go do this and just, like, get there another direction. Maybe I just need to stop obsessing over the one way to get there. And exit the area of interest, I guess. That would be stupid, but maybe. Is that just a person? Just... Okay. Uncomfortable with you, ma'am. Why are my downstairs neighbors such assholes? Are we talking about the genital crabs or like people? Sitting here wondering why HyperX Cloud, wearing my HyperX Cloud suits, which are great, and I can hear the new Beyonce album vibrating my floor. I get it's the middle of the day, but be fucking considerate. That's not, I mean, I think that's, there's no time of day where that's appropriate unless everyone in the building is on par. If you live in an apartment building, that's just, what are you doing? I feel like that person really wants you to participate in their music choice. Like, real bad. You know what I'm saying? Is there something to shoost? That's the only thing I forget to do is look up to shoost, but I don't, I don't know. Just circles forever. What the 
fuck was that sound? You make me very, very nervous. Strange noise. Can I gather you? No, I cannot? Okay. Dude, imagine. They can blare it as loud as they want, David. That's What about night shifters? What if someone works during the night and has to sleep during the day and that's your nurse that you get the next day when you end up falling over from your stupid music and your nurse hasn't had any sleep because you blasted it all day while they were trying to sleep? Like, what then? Do you get to complain when you die? Or, like, do we get to be like, neener, neener, poo-poo? What's it feel like to stab yourself in the toe? Is it? I don't want to wish ill well on people like bad karma, but man, it just seems so violently inconsiderate to other people. Yeah, it's like if they don't know you personally, you don't exist as a human being almost. Like that weird separation uh, mentality. That's so weird. I love music, man, but... If you love music, get yourself some headphones. I promise they'll sound better. The music will sound better. I think I've jumped up that. I don't know. I've gone everywhere. I'm going to walk through the wheat. Maybe there's some secret in the wheat. If you build it, they will come. Can I slap it? Nope. I'm just going to swing my shit through the wheat. Swing my shit through the wheat in case there's something I missed because we're walking in, motherfuckers. It's probably something stupid obvious that I just haven't. I've probably walked by it a million times, but goddamn it, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm just gathering shit forever. Yeah, right. I have. I mean, my neighbors every once in a while, like I've told you guys, they play live mariachi sometimes for holidays. And my neighbors on my other side, they have like weekend barbecues and stuff, but they've never. I mean. Man, the most, honestly, I'd take that any day over some bastard that has a subsystem in his car and decides to drive really slowly through the intersection near my house. <laughs> Get out. Get the fuck. I'm about to call DMCA on you. I don't want to hear any of that. No one, no one likes what you're doing. Get the fuck. Shoo. Shoo, bitch. Shoo, bitch. Get out my ears. I hate that stuff so much. It's all the time. This is nothing. It was just that. Okay. I'm just, I'm just covering all my fucking bases. No shit. That's a big dog to have in an apartment, let alone the noise they'd make. I mean, I remember when I lived in apartments, there was this rule where you couldn't have a certain type of flooring. And I want to say it was like tile or something. Because anybody is loud on that flooring. Like, we all just clack, 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 and your feet make a shit ton of noise and stuff. And, I mean, imagine a dog nails on that. I know. I deal with that a lot, Knives. There's people that are, like, kitty-cornered to me across the center section who I'm pretty sure sell drugs or something, but they're very friendly. They're very nice people. But once in a while, the people driving up to their house for a good 15 to 20 minutes, you know, to hang or whatever the fuck they claim they're doing, it's always that. And I can feel it in my asshole. I'm like, dude, nobody's impressed by your sub. I had a subsystem in my car when I was in high school. Like, I'm not impressed. No one's impressed. Do I go down that way or I'm just, I don't know where to go anymore. I think if I go up into the left, that's where I'm blackballed from going. And that's where I, I, the only place I haven't explored is up there and I don't know how to get there. It's the only part of this go goddamn circle I haven't been. Yeah, second floor up and, and upper carpeted because they make so much noise. I mean, unintentionally, barefoot, you make a lot of noise on tile, man. And I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't want to be an asshole to be, I don't want to be annoying to people and like be the reason they stay awake even if it's allowed I wouldn't want to that just seems like a douchebag thing to do I don't know maybe I'm too considerate I want up there can I get there can you get there let's do it together it'll be fun I'm pretty po I mean that's the only place in the circle that I haven't explored yet I just for the fuck of me cannot figure out how to get there hmm I'm sorry if I gave you the ticks from the I try to make it real. It's like bad beatboxing. That's my home. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I almost think I have to go like, bloop, like around there or fast travel somewhere and go. But there's, I mean, quite clearly nowhere to go. Maybe I should just go do that. Underground location. Maybe that's it. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
I don't know what else to do. I know. I just can't see anywhere where there's. it's, like, palpable to go around. Because I think that's all, like, blocked territory. But I don't know. We're going to try. I'm going to go. This is, like, the very edge of the available map in this area. I'm going to go do. Maybe. It says it's an underground. Maybe that's it. I don't fuck. I don't fuck. I'm going to see if I can upgrade anything real quick. No. Jump! Oh. Second baby in 12 months in a single bedroom? Jesus, I'm surprised they could afford cake. That was very nice of them to bring you a treat. Honestly, that would that would go really far with me. If my neighbors that were going to have a party just, like, acknowledged me, like, hey, we're going to have some loud music, if it's okay, here's some cakes and tea, I'd be like, thank you so much. I will eat these and be mad, but I understand. I can't jump. Yeah, there's no jump. There's nothing. It's basically wherever you see that, like, white, etchy kind of shit is, like, the symbol of that's where you can climb or that's where you can jump. But I, I have no, other than running, there's no real controls over your body. It's weird. I know. No. Oh, fuck me. Why do I do that every time? Wrong button. Yeah, working from home, another one. Yeah, working from home, sleeping at home. Like, it's just, just it's just rude. That's just a rude B. IMO. IMO. Oh, it isn't the same people. Oh, my bad. I was going to say, damn, those are some Irish twins. That's crazy. <laughs> when I lived, the last apartment building I lived in, there was an apartment below me. And I swear it was cursed. Because every, I lived there for quite a few years. And every year a new couple would move in and they would always break up always and the other person would move like across the way and the person that stayed would become very sluttish like su like just constant constant sex and like this one couple the dude stayed and i swear to god he had to cry to come and like i had to hear that i don't know it's not like i like asked him about it but i wasn't proven otherwise it was so loud and it was like in the middle of the day, you know, I'd be like sitting on my couch reading a book and just cry coming happening. It was a lot. It was a lot to take in. The bottom floor is nice. I lived on a ground in a ground floor apartment. This stuff means you can climb there. Um, I lived in a ground floor when I was in Baltimore. The only downside is that all the walking traffic is right at your window level. So I felt like I couldn't really keep my windows open or, like, have my shades open without, like, you know, if some apartment dwellers wanted to just, like, loiter in the parking lot, they'd be just staring directly into my bedroom. Like, it wasn't their fault. Like, it was just right there. That's the downside to ground floors. You are right there. And I think you're kind of more likely to be broken into and stuff because you're a ground floor apartment, too. Not, not that, you know. You know. I'm going to take that elevator. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it. Dude, no shit, Mish. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember, I told you this. The only reason I did it was all of my neighbors were females. All of them were, like, older divorcees. And they were some of this, like, I felt like I was living around the Practical Magic Witches. It was crazy. They were so nice. I'm, I tried I tried to just say not, hi. Like, make my neighbors. I want to know who my neighbors are and know who I am. Because I'm not going to be super friendly all the time. Like, I'm not the type to wave and have small talk. But I want you to know my name in case something's happening and you need emergent help and vice versa. I think that's just friendly neighbor shit. All of them were female divorcees with kids. Some of them had kids. Some of them didn't. But they were such badasses. Like, I think I told you this story. One time I, lo I locked myself out of my apartment. Super freak accident. I woke up at the acid dawn and it was really frosty out. Very cold to, to take Millie out to go potty. And my apartment had two sliding glass doors that were like kitty corner to each other like this. It was very odd. Strange build design. But I had, like, bars to lock, to, like, lock, hard lock my sliding glass doors as, long, as well as a lock. Because female on a base floor. And um, I s opened the sliding glass door to take Millie out. And when I closed the sliding glass door, like, the thunk of the sliding glass door rattled the bar down. So I got stuck outside with no keys, no nothing, in, like, my jammy jam jams. <laughs> in the freezing Baltimore morning weather with Millie. And I called my apartment complex and they were like, sorry, we don't do break-ins on the weekend. <laughs> I didn't think that was legal, but apparently that's legal. And so I'm just like kind of having a little silent panic attack outside my apartment. And one of my lady neighbors like sensed it, comes out and she's like, Katie, what's going on? Like lights up her cigarette. And I'm like, 
and I locked myself out. And like, even if I could get in, I had a chain because, you know, ground floor apartment in Baltimore, I had chain locks and shit on the inside. Anyways, like I didn't know how to get in. She's like, N- don't worry about it. Calls, calls the, her- the women. Like she literally goes in her apartment, starts calling the neighbors of the, of the apartment. 